Shalom. So it's a like to begin by giving all praises to Yahweh Bashemi Hawashai, Bashem Rakakodash, double and a steady apostles of great millstone who rule well. No citation to the men that push this word in sincerity and in truth. But, uh, from James from the Lord, even his graven image. He falleth down under the Get it well. Get yeah, to that video to the spirit of the Lord, yeah, about Shemir and Shai. You know, um, basically, I was just here thinking, you know, watching the international news and see what's going on. You know, knowing the prophecies coming to pass. You know, and just saying to myself, hey, we in the end. One. What type of person we, we, we should be? You know, we know we know we in the end, but we know this is not the, the the end end. You know what I mean? Like that is it. You know the we know the uh Friday microchip had to be implemented. You know, but what 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 man a person each individual in this should what what, what um, standards then? That 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 we are in with with the how about Shem Yahushai? Are we in good standards? You know, am I in good standards? I should say. You know, and I believe that I can do. I can do much better. The Spirit telling me that. Hey, you could you could um. You need to improve. You know, in your spirituality. You need to let go of certain, certain things. You know what I mean? And that is exactly how we're supposed to be doing or how we're supposed to be thinking in this truth. We're supposed to be examining ourselves daily. You know, daily we're supposed to be examining ourselves, thinking about how we have a shy when he was here, see how he walked here, and how he taught, what he taught us, you know, what he taught his disciples how to live. You know, so the basis of this video is basically off of um, 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 9. Yeah, so this is um first Corinthians six and nine. First Corinthians six and nine it says, Know ye not the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Right? So I just want to go into these um these mention these um things here mentioned, these uncleanness that that, that is mentioned. You know, because the times that we're living in, or we've been living in, we're supposed to um, basically, hey, keep our garments clean and be circumspect on the things and how to live, a matter of fact, right? Because the scripture said these kind of characteristics you can't enter into the kingdom of heaven. So they will, they will look up the meaning of these characteristics. Now, fornication, fornicators or fornication come from the Greek word pornias, pornia or pornos. It says a man who prostitutes his body to another's lust for hire, a male prostitute, a man who indulges in unlawful sexual intercourse, right? Basically, which is um unlawful sexual intercourse, like anal sex, right? Homosexuality, right? Things of that that are, are that nature, right? It says um. Right, uh, right, fornicator, homonger, selling of whores, right, monger is to sell, right, selling of whores, right, scriptures talk about prostituting the daughter of Zion, um, it says, no, no, um, 
no adulterers. It says adulterer. Um, idolo latris. It says a worshipper of false god, a adulterer. Used of anyone, even Christians, participant in any way in the worship of heathen, especially one who attends the sacrificial feast and eat of the re- remains of offered victims. It says a covetous man as a worshipper of mammon, right? It goes back to idolatry. Right, idolatry basically is anything that you idolize or anything that you love. You Id- um, anything that you, you love, anything you love more than you have, Bashem Yasha, is, is idolatry. Right, so money goes back to idolatry. Your woman, right, you can go back to idolatry. Right, so on and so forth. Right, it says idolaters, adulterers, no, adulterers, right. Moikos, it says an adulterer, metaphorically, one who is faithless towards God, right? Ungodly, right? Ungodly, right? Now, an adulterer, adulterer is somebody who who has sex with an ex-man wife, right? Who sleeps with an ex-man wife, that's an adulterer, right? Um, it says adulterer um, so like it says adulterer no effeminate look up the word effeminate it says malakos soft soft to touch metaphorically in a bad sense effeminate and then it says effeminate it like, goes back to like being being feminine it says of a uh, catamite catamite of the boy kept for homosexual relationship with a man look up that Right? So a homo, a homo. It says, to these with the scriptures say, these type of beings can enter into the kingdom. It goes on, verse 10, it says, not thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers. I'm going to tell that word reveler. Right? Reveler, um, A reveler, reveler, right? Mischief, abusive, abusive. That is a black god. I'm look up that word, reveler.
Hey, when you look at our revolve, it says the base, the greed, sense non obsolete 14th century insult, taunt, vilify, assail, assail with abusive language, basically to be abusive with your speech towards um, a brother, right? Or an individual. Others of the same feet. It says, I'm um, considered vile, despise, scorn. Right? The scripture says, it, nothing is said, scornful. It says, make vile or cheap. Esteem, shameful, dishonorable. Low born, cheap, ugly. Right? Like the word. Right? It says, no thief, no covetous. One eager to have more, especially what belongs to others, right? To covet someone thing, right? Covet means to, to, to um, desire or want something of others. And it says it's greedy again. So this is not the characteristic of a man that the Lord is supposed to have. Or oh, woman. Right? Skip the talk about those shall not covet. It says drunkards. Drunken, intoxicated. It says tipsy to be drunken, right? So in you know, every minute you will be want to be drunken like a drunkard as a man and the Lord. You know, and 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 you you're all day getting drunk, you know, and and and, and saying that is a man and the Lord and, and this is your characteristic that people see it. Like not a good example, so hey, we had a you know you gotta be careful. You gotta be very careful because all well, that leads back to being a hypocrite also. It says drunkard, intoxicated, tipsy, that is no soft drink. It's soft. Uh, it says to be drink, drunk, and metaphorically of one who has shed blood or murdered profusely. Right? So the word drunkard also goes back to that. It goes back to arm. Um, more or less a, 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 a murderer. Hmm. I didn't know that. Extortioner. Repetuous, ravenous, extortioner, a robber. All right, extortion goes back to someone who steals or rubs right some one of their goods hmm. and forgive me for pausing too much you know this going through this to the spirit here it says an extortioner shall no extortioner shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh Right? So these characteristics of an individual shall not inherit the kingdom of the heavenly father. It says, and such was some of you. Right? And such was some of us. So if it is we was like that in the world, we can't bring that in this truth. Being a drunkard, being an extortioner, being a, a, um, well, a effeminate, right? Scripture today, wash your make it clean. Right? It says, and such was some of you but ye are washed but ye are washed but ye are sanctified but ye are justified in the name of Yahweh, in the name of our lord Yahweh shai amashiach and by the spirit of our power all things are right and that basically that is it right so we are well, we are made new we are made renewed in your Abashim Yashai. And we are made clean through, the, through this word. Through the knowledge of this word. You know, so hey. That is just the. That was something I was, you know, pondering on, you know. Seeing that the times that at hand, we had already. Examine myself. I examine myself thoroughly 
to see we be in the faith. You know, so we that I give all praises and I'm glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Yahweh Kakodash, and the balance to the apostles of Great Millstone, Ruel. Citation to the men that push this for the sincerity and in truth. Next time, say shalom.